Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Jaguar God by Ferrata Comic, issue number zero. The New Covenant by Glenn Danzig, Frank Fazetta, and Simon Bisley. Um, a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, a lot, <laughs> a lot of years ago, uh, I watched a movie called Fire and Ice. And there are, and, and Fire and Ice, what, uh, well, it's an animation movie with rotoscope effect from 1983. So, if you don't know what that is, I just urge you to look it up. It's uh, free on YouTube, by the way. So Fire and Ice, 1983. It's fantastic. It's a mature animation uh, movie in collaboration with Frank Fazetta. And there was a, um, how do you say, a, um, a character in this character. And it's called, um, what, what's it called again? Wolf? No, Dark Wolf. Yes, that was his name. And basically, this is the exact same character because this is coming from the 90s. And I believe the creators, or maybe Glenn Danzig, I believe he is the one that, you know, um, does all this. I mean, not sure if he's owner of Verotic, but could be wrong, but it doesn't matter. But um, I believe they did it for change something for legal issues because Dark Wolf has a wolf head and this is as a jaguar head, but the pose. The loins, the clothes, the weapons, the necklaces, it's exactly the same. So I believe this is just a copy, but they changed it into comic format, which is cool. And this is more like a, a very small, um, how do you say, um, origin issue about Jaguar God. So um, yeah, let's dive in. But before we do that, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, like my video and share it on social media. Leave a comment in the description, it would help me a lot. Uh, I get some new followers uh, lately and I uh, you know, want to expand my, uh, my reach a little bit more and you can help me with that. So, yeah, thank you. Anyway, let's dive in. So we see some natives here uh, telling some ghost stories, if you will, some spooky stories like in a campfire uh, about a, uh, a person with green eyes and, and long teeth and fangs and then um, these, these kids probably... Um, are afraid of what's going on and, and, and they think it's real and they are right they are real of he is real because out of nowhere he comes out of the woods and scares these natives to death and we look at his face and they all say run run away and then jaguar god that's how I call him pick ones up and he basically is going to tell a story about his origin how he came to be um, I find that fascinating because first of all, you come out of the woods and you scare people and then say, hey, let's sit down and let's, let's have a campfire story, which is hilarious. Um, and I must say, it's, it's cool. Oh, by the way, before I forget, this book contains nudity. So if you are sensitive to that, um, don't watch this video. If you are not, then let's continue. So Jaguar God is a, um, was um, years before he became Jaguar God, small boy hunting uh, for his tribe, and so he was hunting a uh, tapir, if you, that's how you call it, and then he's got lost, and then he is suddenly being, you know, caught, chased, whatever, um, by a jaguar, and the jaguar stares in his eyes and basically hypnotizes him, urging him to come with him somehow, instead of killing him. So that caught me, uh, caught my attention directly. So the little boy goes with the jaguar, and he comes across... A cave and the cave has some tribes people in it and this shaman surrounding himself with naked women and he says we have expecting you we have waited so long and it means there's some kind of a prophecy uh, let me see if I can show it yes so the boy gets older he decides to uh, stay with the tribe learning all the ways of the, the jaguar of the cult of the jaguar if you will and then he is being you know, participating in some kind of a ritual and they transforming into, um, well, they're preparing him for something. So he gets, you know, these claws or maybe tooth embedded into him, a big claws, I guess. And then he is being lowered into a pit and the pit is full of jaguars. And then the jaguars are, uh, showing a little bit here, clawing at him, but not killing him. They are just biting, clawing, but he barely any, feeds anything because, um, I don't know, he's more um, still hypnotized or maybe he is um, 
you know, more out of it because of the pain that he is enduring, maybe some potions that he has been intoxicated with. Not entirely sure, but it looks fantastic. So, then, then some strange happening. The, the Ross is getting, um, let's say the, the, the Jaguars are getting, not bored, but they are, um, what's the word, I'm backing down. They are backing down and they are changed. They are changing into human women. They are shape-shifting. So all these Jaguars are basically females. And they are starting to mate with him. And since he never had a woman in his life before, he is indulging in lust. And he's being, again, hypnotized and, and tried to become one of them. And then he becomes... Jaguar God. He's ready. He looks freaking fantastic. I love Simon's Bisley's art. It's really cool. He's getting a weapon. And then the uh, the shaman says, You are now ready. Now go into uh, to the world and you know slay our enemies, slay the enemies of his land. And that's basically the end of the book. So and we see of course see the cool transformation between the women that turn into Jaguars and he is, you know, running, walking with the Jaguars, and that's basically it. That's the it. I mean, it's only 16 pages, so it's not, you know, much. And this is the end, and it looks freaking fantastic. And then we have some some gallery of pinups by Liam Sharp, by Adam Polina, um, by Bisley, and a lot of a lot of, you know, more. And it looks great. Looks freaking fantastic. Look at this, amazing. I love it. I love these kind of comics, these balls to the walls comics, uh, art, pinups, looks freaking fantastic. Uh, so yeah, this is a short video, also a short, you know, preview, although it's more like an origin story. And there are seven other comics that I have with him from Jaguar God, and it all looks great uh, with, you know, uh, different artists, uh, with Liam Sharp, with Alex Horley. Is it Alex Horley? Is that? No, I'm not entirely sure. But, um, you know, a lot of amazing artists. Looks great. So I'm probably going to make a review about it. I need to read them again. So that brings us to the end of the video. Guys, thanks you for watching. And see you next time.